So, all right then, Richard, do you want to say anything? Well, I'd just like to welcome you all here this morning. Um, you know, we, like Yoni said, people from all over, fantastic to have Brian here in, in school. Um, and I'm really delighted that you come to come to Little Old Woodrow um, to, 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 to share this experience. And I'm thrilled that the children will be involved, because I think that whenever we do training, it's always best training when the children are involved. So, um, I said it wasn't coming enough for the children. That's yeah. the, that was the first hiccup, wasn't it? <laughs> You didn't say that till about two days before you came. The warm water. Well, thank you so much for opening up the schools. Okay. It just wasn't. I don't. Those of you who haven't been here, I just walked in and thought, oh, what a yeah. great place. Um, and I put up here. This is. I, this was my brief, which I hope I'm in the right place for. <laughs> what is play? <coughs> what is role? And how does using them make a difference mm. to learning and teaching? So that's what we're going to look for. So the visual sort of record of what we do, and then we can think about it in terms of learning and teaching. So, okay, so how many, um, how many people know each other here? Does anybody know anybody? Could you stand up if you know someone? Stand up if you know someone in the circle. If you, if you know somebody, I'm going to begin, I'm going to, this game is, uh, I walk across and I say, hi Naomi, I'm Brian. Hello, I'm Naomi. And, and you say, hello Brian. Hello Brian. I'm Naomi. I'm Naomi. And then you, you come into the circle. Okay. Okay. And then you, you're going to pick somebody that you know, which will have to be... Denise. 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 So walk around and then come back to Denise, and then Denise will go in and you pick somebody else. Yeah, yeah, hello yeah. Denise, I'm Naomi. Hello Naomi, I'm Denise. Hello, Michelle, I'm David. Hello, David, I'm Michelle. Hello, Iona, I'm Michelle. Hello, Michelle, I'm Iona. Hello, Esther. Esther, I'm Caroline. <laughs> Hello, Caroline. Hi, Esther. Hello, Liz. Hi, <laughs> Esther. Hi, Esther. <laughs> Uh, I'm with Birmingham Rep Theatre and I work with children aged 0 to 5. Oh. We're reception, I think, three here. Yeah. I'm year one, I teach further up the school. Okay. I've just retired from teacher education, but I've got grandchildren between 15 months and 8. <laughs> so, eight right. one two class at Grimley and Hope Primary School. Right. Uh, year two children Woodrow. here, Woodrow. I'm at Key so Stage anybody? 2, so Year 3 and 4, which yeah. are mixed in, in this school. I'm a student teacher, so I work with uh, 5 to 11 year olds. 5 to 11 year olds, five to 11. general problem. So you're a moving um, target yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> I do Key Stage 1, 2 and 3, so I thought I'd stand in the middle. <laughs> yeah. I do Key Stage 1, 2 and 3 as well, so I also thought I'd stand in the middle. <laughs> Uh, I work with early years primary and adults, so I'm, but I do more work in primary schools as a freelance drama practitioner. I'm the same as Jenny, everywhere, but mainly here. Speak, yeah. 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 Um, I teach year 5, 6. Uh, I'm secondary, so year 7 to 11. Yeah. Same as you two really, but mainly trying to secondary. Yeah. Yeah. I work with um, 11 to 18 year olds in secondary school. Okay. 16 to 19, school leavers and disengaged young people. Yes, teaching early years. Early years, right. And I teach drama undergraduates, um, but I used to be a secondary teacher. Yeah. Anyway, over here, we won't we'll press it, but yeah, go on. So over here, we have Worcester. Worcester. So then, so could you just tell us who you are and where you where you are? I'm Sue. I'm from Stanley Road Primary School in Worcester. I'm Esther. I'm from Grimley and Holt Primary School. I'm Liz. I'm from Grimley and Holt Primary School. Great. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so you guys should tell everybody who you um, are and where. I'm Kate. I teach at Newman University College for drama. Hi, I'm Liam, a student teacher in Birmingham City okay. University, studying primary education. So you two are together. We're together. Anybody else from there? That's no. it. Okay, so over here we have. Um, I'm Naomi. I'm from the Birmingham Rep Theatre, um, right 
smack in the middle of Birmingham in the Jewelry Quarter. I'm David, Midland Actors Theatre, and I'm based here, but I work kind of in this Dudley, Wolverhampton, Birmingham area. So drive your car a little bit. Pretend you're in your car. I don't drive. Oh, you don't? <laughs> oh, what? Well, you're on the train, go on the train or the bus and just yeah. you know, show us where you're moving. <laughs> I'm from, uh, I live in Chilechi. I work in Swansea University with these groups of disengaged young people who we bring into the university. And she's left all those disengaged young people, but she's carried them in her heart. Absolutely, you? yes. Here they come, all the way. So she's come the furthest. Except me. It's no comparison, yeah. really. I'm in Ohio. I'm at the Ohio State University, where I'm in teacher education and other things. And I have a funny accent, mixed up accent. That's what I say to the children there, because I was born in Northern Ireland, over oh. here. And then I came to university in Bristol, yes. where I became a lawyer. <laughs> I was a solicitor. I know, I learned the error of my way. Very good. And then I became a teacher. Yay. Went back to Bristol. I was a teacher in Bristol. I was a teacher in Bath. And then I went to Newcastle upon Tyne. Where I, oh, sorry. <laughs> Your map and my map are different. That's all right. All right. Where I worked with Dorothy Hethcote. And of course, and that's my connection with Iona and many other people in this room that I haven't actually met. But I spent a year there, met my wife, who's from, <coughs> guess where? Canada. North America. Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> and that was 25 years ago. And so I've lived in other places in the US, but I'm back at Ohio State University. So that's, so that's me. play is, and you've chosen one of the things that you talked about. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now, this game called Pruri is, everybody says this word, so we're all going to say it all at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So here's the game. What you do is you say your word, and you try to cluster with people who are saying the same word. Sounds like we're going to have lots of fun. <laughs> That's good. All right? So we're all saying all at the same time, and you move like this. And you, so you're not running, you're not moving, okay? So are you ready? So we're all going to say this word at the same time, and when you hear other people, you cluster with them. So you ready? Three, two, one, go. Power! Power! And stop. All right, so some people are, are who's on your, on your own? Right, we'll come we, to you in a second. A we'll but first of all, the largest group is fun. fun. Could we have play if it wasn't fun? No. No. Not really no. Because you can't make people play. <laughs> now, it doesn't mean rolling around on the floor fun, does it? It means, what do you mean by it? Enjoyment. Enjoyment. Mm. Being in control of it. And so You're in control of it. So as soon as you're not in control of it, and somebody else is making you do it, have you ever, did you ever have to play football and you were made to do it? Or rugby, in my Hockey. case. Hockey. <laughs> and it wasn't fun, and it wasn't play. It was, it was really a chore. Hell. <laughs> yes. OK, so it has to be fun in the sense of being in control of it. All right. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now if we're going to do this with children, <laughs> thinking of sequencing, what should we do before we do that? What would we have to make sure that they wouldn't do if they're five years old? Four. Before. Before. Four. 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 Fall. Fall. fall, right. So we should practice the falling first, right? <laughs> so let's practice falling down so that we don't get in anybody else's way. Could we do that? 
I, I yeah, did this. Show us. So Would you I looked, show us? I looked that way, and then I looked that way. Yeah. And then I made sure it's safe, and then I thought about how I wanted to fall. Yeah. And I wanted to fall like this for some reason. Did someone do something different? Yes, I knocked it. To make it safe. <laughs> How did you? Yeah, what did you do? I, st I stayed up because I work with special needs kids and I, I'm doing a bit of Mac Macaton sign language, so I don't know. Oh, show us the sign. Would you? I don't know for that what. Okay. But I would, I would find out what the sign was for fall, so right. we'd probably sign mm -hmm. it so they wouldn't have to fall on the floor. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He was sitting there the other day and he was all right, mm. you know, but mm. he doesn't like going in the park with the others. He's, he's his thin skull. Mm. He, he's a bit, you know, yeah. bit anxious. But what, what, why would that make him fall off, though? I'm not saying... Pause, pause there a minute. No. If you were listening into that as a, as, a, as a child, what did you pick up that might be He doesn't like going to the park. He doesn't go to the... So we've got Humpty Dumpty here already, and we've got something about him... Right. Mm -hmm. So we've got the character here is coming to life. So if we want Humpty Dumpty to come to life, the people who are here might be able to tell us about him. So we could interview this person about, oh, about why did he not want to go? So we could find out about that, right? A story. Could you show us the bit about the wall itself, the physical structure where the accident may have happened? Show us what. Just talk about the wall. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Is it is a dry stone wall or is it cemented well, together? Well, the thing is, you, see, you can see you can see where those stones have gone been, loose. Yeah. There, they've yeah. been there, haven't they? Yeah. Um, well, there's some here, look. But see, if we put them there, mm. they sort of fit, don't they? I do, yeah. So they've come down. That seems a bit powdery there. Like that. Is it cement? Do you know this cement is really dry? It is. Pause there a second. Did you hear anything there that makes you think why the accident might have happened? What did you hear? It was a brick had come away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could you, could you all just stand by your wall and put your hand on something that might be dangerous, might have been, might have caused the accident? Just put your hand on it. Okay. When I walk me? past you, I'm going to activate you, and you're going to say exactly what you just said. No more, no less. Are you ready? And you're going to say it loud enough so everyone in the room can hear it. And you can. You can watch it if you want. You don't have to be, but when you get to it, I'm going to walk around this way. So here we go. I've got my hand on a brick because I think that the bricks are falling off. And I'm touching the mortar because that looks really crumbly, makes that brick fall off. Mm. It's a bit wobbly, isn't it? So it could be. This yeah, there and yeah. Panicked, especially so. if he was messy. This brick feels really loose here. I'm sure it's not safe. The wall wasn't built properly in the first place. Why do you say that? Because it's wobbly. Was maybe it was all right when it was built? I don't know when it was last fixed. Right. Do you know? I I think we need to find some records of of when this was last repaired. That's what we have to do. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've been working on what might have happened, haven't we? About the wall. Where do you think he might be injured? And how would we find that out? Should we get some more bandages on him? He's adults here, yes. not children. Um, you can ask him Let's have bandages. Put them on properly. Oh, oh. Jack. Jack. Oh, sorry, sorry. Jack. Jack. Actually, he's humpty. Your arm. Did your arm get We've made him humpty. Oh. He's humpty. Don't. We've yeah. moved him to humpty. What Jack for? I can feel that. Not so good on this side. And this is what he wants you to do at some point. You've hurt your wrist and you've Maybe we double up on this knee. Oh, we'll look at Humpty Dumpty first. And then we can meet, we could meet other people who might have been injured as well. And you could be the, you could be injured people. Um, of other, from other people in very, in nursery rhyme world. Mm. Which would include? The maid. The maid from, oh, Sing a Song of Six. Yes, yeah. If you'd Ooh. like to be a maid, if you'd like to have someone fine, who had their nose pecked off, sit down. <laughs> if you want to be a... A maid, a person who had their nose pecked off. So there's another person in the hospital. Oh, I'd be, are we going to be collected? Right. If you'd like to be Jack or Jill who fell down the hill, sit down. And those are the patients in our hospital. We need to have a, a patient 
and a physician or a nurse or somebody. We have to have twos. All right, so we've got our hospital sort of ready to go when we need it. We've got the walls ready to go when we need it. Sounds good. So, where should we be when the children come in? Should we start with them in the real world? I think we should do that first. Yeah. Right. Why on earth would they come on a Saturday into a school to work for a teacher from America? Why on earth would they do that? Maybe. Has anybody got an idea? Who do you think they might be? People from different countries. They could be from, just because I came from different countries. <coughs> Is anybody from a different country? Oh, there's a person from a different country. Tell us where you're from. Wales. She's from Wales. And we have another person from a different country. From Greece. So we do have people from different countries. Yeah. Who else? Yeah. So why would they have come here, do you think? Story with us. Exactly. That's exactly why they came here to do a story with us. Do you know anybody in this room? Well, go and stand by him. It's me. All right. Now, what I'd like you to do is tell us about the people you're standing by. Just tell us their names and what you know about them. Mrs. Haynes. Mrs. Haynes. She's our teacher. She's your teacher. And over here we have. Mrs. Master. He's the headmaster. <laughs> Is he a nice headmaster? Yes. Yeah. What makes him nice? <laughs> He's helpful. Uh, yeah. Is she helpful? Yeah. She helpful? Yeah. She helpful. This. Oh, this teacher as well. Yeah, this teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Two more helpful teachers. You know, that's... Um, we were thinking about um, making up a story where there was somebody in a hospital who got sick, who got hurt. Would you, would you find that interesting? Would you like to see somebody? It's a pretend story, but you might, you might actually know it already. But we'd asked your, um, what do they call you? Mr. Karen. The, Mr. Karen to do that for us. Would you like to see him? We were just practicing before you came in. Would you? I got, I got my shoulders checked. Could I have something under my shoulder? Yeah. Right. Right. If he's in the hospital, do you think do you think we should get anything like under his head or to make him comfortable? I don't know. What do you think? There are people in hospital who are hurt just like this, and there are some people in hospital hurt even worse than this, right? But in our story, this is going to be the person, and this is how you how he, and it's a he in this case has been. Have a look at his head there. You'll see that. Right. Is there anything on there in that bandage that makes you a bit worried? There's red on it. There's red on it, which probably blood. means blood. blood. Yeah. So it's hurt on his head. Was there blood on the bandage when it was put on? No. No. Did you put the bandage on? No. no. Right. Now, in our story, we can imagine that somebody actually put the bandage on. If you want, you could you could be that person, right? But it didn't have the blood on. Okay. Not Useful. Not Why don't you pick it up now? Okay. And bring it back to the circle. Bring back what you've got. To the circle. If you can hear me, clap once. If you can hear me, clap twice. Now, in this hospital, there's not just this one patient in it. There's lots of people for us to work on. If you look around here, there's a person here. Where does it hurt? It hurts on her nose. I don't know if anybody's got anything that could Elisa's help. Lisa's got some bandages. She might be able to help. Why don't you come down and see, um, see if that would help her. I'm and here, I'm hurting on my head. Hurts on her head. There are lots of patients. Yeah. And over here, yeah. here's a knee person here. And here's another, it's another nose person. 
name is Humpty Dumpty. And as you can see in the middle there, there's a picture. And what we do on that is we write down answers to that. Can anyone read that word for us? Uh, injury. It says injuries. So, from what we know already, I've got my red pen. Where do we know, hang on a second, where do we know he hurts? All over. But especially, where does he hurt? Head. His head. So I'm going to draw a picture here. <coughs> and I'm going to write the word head. We know he hurts all over, but he also hurts where? Oh, he hurts that phone low. Could you put a red marker to show us where you know he hurts? Oh, and what's that bit? What should we call that? His side, is it? The left. Left what? The left. Side? side. Left side. I don't know if one of the king's horses brought him here. Or not. I don't know how he I came think here. One of the king's horses brought him. You think the king's horses did bring him? Yeah, well, we'll have to write down as to what. In the carriage. Yeah, in the, in the carri carriage. The king's horses brought him here in the carriage. Would you like to draw that over here? As to what happened? About, could anybody like to draw what happened when he came here? Do you want to come up? Come on over. His arm. Right, put it on the arm. Okay, can you write the word arm? Right. Could you write that first? Yeah. There we go. Great, thank you so much. Could you pass for us? Just pretend they're Humpty Dumpty. And show us what you hope is going to happen. One day, when he leaves the hospital, show us. You be Humpty Dumpty leaving. Show us what's going to happen. Here he goes. Watch him. Humpty Dumpty's going to get up, and he's going to go where? He's going to go back home. He's going to go back home. Now, could you just stand up there? Beside, stand up. Look, there's Humpty in the hospital, and there's Humpty going home. Here, patient and... Dr. David. Dr. David. And here... Patient and Dr. Bramley. Dr. Bramley. So when you get to your patients, you'll find a doctor or a nurse, and they'll you help them. Could you see what they can do on this? Find out what happened, where the injury is, and what we might do to help. Okay. Do some drawings on there. Could you do that? Could you help to have a go at that? Go on, you give her a little bit. Be brave. Yeah. Talking to Humpty Dumpty, we were trying to find out what happened. I don't know if you've had a chance to talk to find out the story of what happened. But we've got, a, we've got a sort of reconstruction <laughs> as to what happened over here. So if you're busy with your patients, just stay there. But if you'd like to know what happened to Humpty Dumpty, come on over here. The wall was that high. Stop. Anything in there that might have caused this accident? Yes? The wall was so high. It's a pretty high wall. Right? I, I Hang on a second. What, how high could a wall be for you? It to be Small. dangerous. Could it be dangerous this even though it's long? Yeah, yeah. Up to the ceiling. If it was up to the ceiling. From the, yeah. From here yeah. all this the way up to yeah. that. Could ceiling. you move your body to the height, and including your hands, to the height of the wall that you think could be unsafe? And you know, if he might fall down and smash it, and then he'll land on it and kill oh. himself. Yeah. Or he might bleed. He might bleed. Or crack. Or he might Could, die. Could he might die. Because By the way, let's just check in. Crack. Who's been with Humpty? How's his breathing going? Um, Is it good? Yep. How's his... What else were you checking on? Um, X-ray and Humpty Dumpty. How's it doing? Um, 
all one. It's all right. So he's, he's not dying. Another, Is he getting another, better or worse, would you say? Um, a little bit worse. A little bit worse? Yeah. To it, where the glass there. is. Can you all oh, see over here? Can, can you come out here? Come out here. Because he's been tending to Humpty. Can you all see here, everybody? Right. That glass that was on... Could you point to where the glass was on top of the wall? Look, there it was. And when Humpty, there's a bit of glass inside him now. Show us where it is. In his leg. It's right there. Look. Take your finger and point right there. That's where the glass is. In Humpty. The wall was that high. It was a brick wall. On top of the wall, there was a piece of glass hanging outside, uh, outside the brick. So he kneeled over the wall to check what was behind that wall. Stop. Could somebody show us him doing that? I can do it, but if somebody else would like to do it, would you like to? Do you want to choose someone? Because it's your story. Okay. Now you check with Elise that she does it just the way that you remembered when you talked to him. Uh, Elise, would you mind going around the other side? Or should I leave? There we go. So that she can see you. There we go. So, do that bit of story again. Humpty. Humpty kneeled over the wall to see what was behind the wall. He's, uh, the button of his coat caught up on the glass and as he was trying to untangle it, he fell off the wall. Stop! Stop. What? You said stop, right? Because yeah. the glass has caught on his button. Yeah. That was, he, he fell off and then the glass could go in his body. It did, and it did go in his body, didn't it? Because it's stuck in it in right now. Now, could you very carefully, in slow motion, Show us Humpty falling. Could you do that for us? Here he is. Oh, down he went. Keep going. Don't look at me. Imagine that you're Humpty. And there he was. Was your head up like that? Okay. The next bit. Somebody who would like to be the king's horses and the king's men coming to take him. If you'd like to do that, why don't you stand? Mm. Here we go, are you ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great... Are you ready? Go! All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And stop. Let's see the king's horses and the king's men trying to put Humpty together again. What did they try to do? Be very careful, you don't actually touch her. There they are, trying to put them together again. We need some super glue. <laughs> That's what one of them said. <laughs> Where should we take him if we can't fix him? Uh, in the hospital! And uh, how are we going to take him there? Uh, in the ambulance! And remember we decided earlier, it wasn't a, it wasn't, it was a special the ambulance, the carriage oh, ambulance. Yeah. So let's, can somebody come in as if they're the king's horses with the carriage? Yeah. Come on in. Oh, Here we come. <laughs> Here we come. Here we come. <laughs> Get the carriage ready. <laughs> now just, just in pretend, we're not actually going to lift her up. But very carefully, don't actually touch her. Do you lie down there? Lie down there, stay there. You're okay. We're going to pretend to lift her into the carriage. And we better put her on. What should we put her on if we're going to put her in? A blanket. A blanket. We need a blanket. What else do we need? Uh, a pillow. A pillow. What else do we need? Uh, 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 a a uh, so we need to put a What's that then? thing that's like a bed thing that you put people on? What's uh, that called? A trolley. We need, we need a trolley. And how do we get her from there onto the trolley? I pick her up. Yeah, we'll pick her up. Yeah, give something to them. You got the trolley. You got the trolley. Okay, bring it in here. Yeah. 
There's two. Oh, pick them up. Have you got her in there? I'm putting her in the ambulance. Get her into the ambulance carriage. Yep. Good. Okay, on, we'll do that. And that's just what happened, wasn't it? We took her to, to Humpty Dumpty to the hospital. Now, before, because we've got to stop in a minute because you're going to have a drink. But I was just wondering, before we go back to the hospital, I'm going to have to stop. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. You know, I'm just wondering about this wall and the glass on it. Is there anybody in our kingdom mm. that, some that you might want to talk to about walls yeah. and glass on them and people falling off things? Mm. Did anybody else talk to anybody else about things that had happened in this kingdom um, that were dangerous? I did. I, I yeah. uh, What did you find out? Well... Who did you talk to? Mm, uh, did did you did anybody talk to any of the patients? To find I out? talked to one of the patients yeah. with yeah. another doctor. Okay, right, because we'll need to find out. But with the wall here and everything, who do you think we might talk to about, I, about the glass on the wall? I know. Who would be a good person to talk to who might help with that? I know. Yeah, who do you think? Um, the manager. The manager. The boss. The I'm boss. The boss. The, who's the in charge? Who's in charge of? Um, I am. Who's the wait boss? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's in charge of glass on walls? I, mean, I am. The, if you want to speak to Humpty, you stand up, and then when you've spoken, you sit down. Uh, we are gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna help you get better. Thank you very much. I, I, I do hope so. Can you tell him exactly what you're going to do? And we are going to get a wheelchair for you. Thank you. We're going to get the glass and take it and put you in a wheelchair. Thank you. Well, that would be great. Tell Humpty. Humpty. Well, well, when we've got the glass out, um, the best thing is to do, not to kneel and look over the other side. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to be very careful of that wall in the future. Yeah, yeah. Very careful. Because, Humpty, it's not just about fixing the wall. We're a bit worried about what you were doing on the wall. Can you tell him again what not to do? Yeah. Don't leap Neil on the wall and look over the other side because you might even fall down on the edge yeah. and you might um, just cut your hair. We, we're going to take... Tell Humpty, look we're at him there, he's right there. Got special tools to do. Thank you. And Jack, <coughs> just over your head, is going to say the last thing. Um, we're going to take all the wall apart so no more walls. No, and then we're going to make it. That wall, when we looked at it, it was so dangerous we didn't realise. We couldn't make it smaller. Yeah, and we're going to take that wall apart and then we're going to build a new wall. Yeah, it's smaller. Right. <coughs> Could you stand up to show part the wall growing? And it's a very safe wall. Stand up as the wall gets stronger and safer and put your hand on the top. Everybody, stand up, build the wall up. Everybody, build the wall. You're going to help us on that one. Can you help us build the wall? Put your hand on the top of the wall. What's not on the wall top? What's not there? Glass. Glass. What is there? Bricks. Bricks. And a nice place to sit. Oh, you know what? That's making me feel better already. <sighs> and that is the end of our story for today. So why don't you go and say bye-bye to anybody that you worked with, one of the grown-ups, thank them for what they did, and then we've got drinks. <laughs>